And what did Patrick Henry say in a speech at the Virginia Convention, March 23rd, 1775, as the states were preparing, the colonies who were about to become states were preparing to go to Philadelphia and vote for independence in the Declaration of Independence. It is natural to man to indulge in the illusions of hope. We are apt to shut our eyes against a painful truth and listen to the song that the siren, till she transforms us into beast. Is this the part of wise men engaged in the great and arduous struggle for liberty? Are we disposed to be of the number of those who having eyes see not and having ears hear not the things which so nearly concern their temporal salvation? For my part, whatever anguish of spirit it might cost, I am willing to know the whole truth, to know the worst and to provide for it, to prepare for it. Patrick Henry, 1775. I am disgusted by slugs, by people that live in denial, who worship at the feet of the goddess denial. Those who worship at the feet of rationalization and sophistry and mental gymnastics to deny clear and present tyranny on a thousand plus fronts, growing in intensity and strength and frequency all around us, devouring our people, destroying our name, turning us into chattel debt slaves as a paramilitary web descends and tightens around our throats like a 14-foot boa constrictor. <sighs> I know not what course you will take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. I will not be transformed into a beast, into a servile, domesticated, dumb animal. I am free as my forefathers were, and I will fight until the end that my progeny and their progeny will enjoy the fruits of liberty. That's why I study history and politics and the art of info war so that my children and their children may be free men and women who can travel to the stars. I fear not death of my body. I fear not death of my name or the destruction of my treasure. But I do fear for the species. We are all part of a greater family. I fear for our race. Our, I fear for our civilization. I know that the worst of men are in control of society and are rapidly accelerating their program of dehumanization and wanton bloodlust and sadistic destruction on a scale the planet has never even imagined. I know the true nature and the mind of our enemy and that is why I'm so disgusted with those that are willfully and aggressively ignorant. They're not just ignorant, they love their ignorance and they hate those of us who are not ignorant and who are animated with the incredible spirit of liberty in this contest against the control freaks and against lesser men, against the envious against the controlling, against the petty, who form collectives and armies against free mankind. I am here to rally humans who have liberty and freedom burning volcanically in their breast, infusing their bones with titanium fury animating our minds with a brush fire that will spread across the planet and sweep the disease of collectivism away. I pledge everything I am, everything I'll ever be, my family, my treasure, my honor, 
everything in this contest because when you understand what we're facing you realize there is no other choice there is no other course that we can take and I challenge our listeners and our great activists who support us and Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com and the films and all the work we do to redouble your efforts and to not see Alex Jones as your leader, but to see God and the animating spirit of liberty that flows from our Creator as our King and as our model to stand against darkness. When you build me up, you pull yourself down thinking that I'm here on the front lines, your champion, David against Goliath. When our course is all of us, David against Goliath, all of us realizing that it's up to you looking in the mirror to become animated with freedom, to set your soul on fire, and to step up on the battlefield.